Hey everyone, welcome to FilterGrade. Do you have a dedicated graphics card in your computer? If so, you're in luck if you want to render video with Premiere Pro and After Effects. Adobe recently added a new GPU rendering technology into Premiere Pro, After Effects, and Media Encoder. So now, if you utilize hardware encoding for H.264 or H.265 exports, you can now render video up to five times faster than what you're used to. While Adobe claims that render times could be five times faster, various other sources cite between two and four times faster should be expected in most cases. Your exact render times will vary, and Adobe recommends graphics cards with higher VRAM for the best results at higher resolutions. 4GB, the lowest amount included in modern graphics cards, will be good for 1080p videos, but 6GB and higher are recommended if you're rendering 4K or 8K video. If you're looking to purchase a new graphics card to take advantage of it, anything in NVIDIA's RTX lineup will do the trick. The 10 and 16 series GTX cards will also be ideal if you're on a tighter budget or just don't need that much horsepower. It's important to note that while AMD brand graphics cards should be affected by this, it was specifically designed for use with NVIDIA cards, using the NVENC encoder technology. This applies to the Professional Quadro line and the Consumer GeForce line. NVIDIA and Adobe have gotten along pretty well in the past. NVIDIA's CUDA technology has long been supported for GPU acceleration in Premiere Pro. Both NVIDIA and AMD plan to release new generations of graphics cards before the end of 2020, so if you're fine with your current hardware, you may want to consider waiting to upgrade. You can expect higher performance from the new generation and some discounts on the current generation cards. If you already own a graphics card and have GPU accelerated rendering turned on, then you don't need to do anything about this update. Your software will automatically use this new technology as long as it's up to date. Notably, this gives a massive performance boost to NVIDIA's own RTX Studio laptops. These are marketed with a focus on content creation. Here's a few benchmarks from NVIDIA comparing an Intel Core i9-9750H CPU to an RTX 2060 dedicated graphics card. This shows a basic 4K render, taking 11 minutes and 43 seconds on the CPU, and only 4 minutes and 45 seconds on the GPU. This is a strange comparison, because this i9 processor is a mobile chip, although certainly a high-end one, but they probably use this comparison due to the aforementioned RTX Studio laptops. In addition to this GPU acceleration, this update also includes Adobe support for the Apple ProRes RAW format. This means that Windows users can work with these Apple-specific files without having to transcode them first. Let us know in the comments if you've noticed that your PC can render video much faster lately, and we'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit filtergrade.com today.